NEC, powering billion dreams in association with Money Control. From emerald green waters to pristine white sand beaches, lush tropical forests and mangroves, there is something for everyone in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. A tropical island paradise in the southeastern ocean waters of India. These islands are an archipelago of unparalleled beauty. Surrounded by a vibrant coral reef ecosystem that provides a home for an incredible variety of marine life, making these islands a popular destination for snorkeling and diving. The landscape of the islands is also dotted with historic landmarks, including the Cellular Jail and Ross Island. However, due to the minimal digital network, it was considered an off-the-grid location up till recently. When we didn't have a cannon, we had to face a lot. Sometimes we didn't have to call on the phone. We didn't have to call on the phone. We didn't have to call on the phone. We used to have a lot of issues lot of issues especially dealing with our customers and the clients lot of us had to open offices in mainland just to cater to uh, uh, the customers the only medium for providing telecom connectivity between the mainland and the andamans was through satellites with bandwidth availability limited to only one gbps lack of connectivity means our students were also finding it so difficult to reach out uh, for books for Glasses, everything was impossible. All that changed since the inauguration of the Chennai Andaman and Nicobar Islands Submarine Optical Fiber Cable Project on the 10th of August 2020. Children are accessible to, you know, institutes in Chennai, in Kolkata, wherever they want, across the world also. Even in case of higher education, Children had to go to mainland to cater to their needs for coaching and all. Now with the coming of this optical fibre, children can be here, stationed here in Port Blair and adjoining areas, and they are getting the benefit from the mainland. I imagine uh, five years ago, where even for a, a phone call, we had to go sometimes walk to the beach. It's about 100 metres uh, walk. Uh, it was this, that situation was different. Now everything is a fingertips away, and this has eventually helped our guests. The hyperconnectivity brought by the submarine network would strengthen online education, telemedicine, e-commerce, net banking facilities, and tourism in the island territory opening doors for the islanders towards better lives and opportunities. It's good now because there was nothing on the internet before. Now, because of all the submarine cables, our Wi-Fi, BSNL, etc. We are getting a lot of good way to get a lot of internet. So, that's why the tourists who are coming here to visit, they can do GPA and do GPA. So, our business is good. The internet services were way too slow. It has been a big barrier to us. Now, especially in the medical services, we can communicate better with patients. We can share reports, especially with the inter-island patients. Even the telemedicine part of it has been boosted tremendously. The islanders now enjoy improved ease of living, irrespective of the geography or weather conditions. Kani has actually changed the way we live in the islands. It has created lot of employment locally for the people of the islands. The hyperconnectivity that will enhance the Digital India coverage has also opened up new economic opportunities for the region and helps to bridge the digital divide between the Andaman and Nicobar Islands and the rest of India. Thanks to the Kani Cable Project, the place that was once beyond the horizon is now just a click away. NEC, powering billion dreams in association with Money Control.